Hey everybody, I'm actually at my office right now where I actually work and I find this is a good place to do painting because it's a nice big warehouse and I don't have to paint out in my 10 degree garage. So I'm going to go over what paints I've decided to use on what parts and I'll let you see right now. Uh, the body, I'm going to paint it glossy red. I've used this before, this is what I painted my wraith with and it came out super nice. It's going to have a good look so that uh, the, the cab and the hood, the, the bed, and the back side all are going to be this color red. If I can get this thing to stay. Uh -huh. Alright. And the front grill, light buckets, and all that, I'm going to paint it this uh, metallic matte aluminum color. I've used this on the paint that I did on my, uh, my Claude Buster. And this is a a really, uh, for lack of a better word, creamy color. When it comes out, it's super nice looking. So I'm going to use that for here. And then the dash, I'm going to just uh, paint it flat black. I mean, it's a dash. should be flat black, right? So that'll be flat black. And then I've got this truck bed liner coating. Um, I did a bed liner on the body, the hard body of my Claude Buster, and it came out really nice looking, so I think that gives it a nice scale look. So I'm going to mask around the edges of the bed, you know, like you would do on a real truck, come down about that far, do bed liner in and around, just to finish it up, give a nice finished look to it. So that's pretty much what I've decided on. And I want to get started here. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up here, get ready. I just want to give you an idea of what I'm going to do. Now, here's the thing. Once I get this all painted red, I, uh, I'm really good at pinstriping. I pinstriped cars for years. So I might even do a pinstriping job on this. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to stop by my local uh, auto zone or whatever and see what kind of pinstriping they've got, what colors and what I can decide on. So let's get it started. You like my glasses? It's like when SpongeBob goes out jellyfishing, real nerdy-like, right? Anyways, so I'm going to get started on this, uh, and we're going to do some nice light coats, try to make this a nice flat paint job, and we'll get started. All right, I'm getting ready to paint this. Now what I like to do when I do a hard body, because you're not painting on the inside of Lexan, so you have to worry about how the paint's going to come out and if it's going to come out nice and smooth, I like to hit it with some canned air first. Make sure there's no dust on it, or try to get as little dust on it as possible so it'll be a nice finish. So here we go, do that, and... We can get started with the paint. Make sure it's nice and mixed up here. And like I said, you got to do really nice, well, let me move that, that'll help. Really nice, really okay, that's good. Really, uh, from a distance, you want to do some light coats to make sure, you don't want to go too, you know, too heavy with it. You get drips, then you have to wait for it to dry, then you have to sand it back down, and then you have to repaint it, and sometimes you have to prime it's a pain. I hate that. So we're gonna do some light coats just to start it up. Nice long swipes. Gotta dig that paint smell, I'll tell ya. I'm gonna get nice and stoned off this. Whew. It ain't so bad. This is actually a really big warehouse. You can't tell by the angle you're at, but it's not bad at all. Plus, I got this big garage door behind me. So, if I need ventilation, it's not hard to get to it. Now, I'll tell you this, last time I did a paint job in here, I did it upstairs in the office, not realizing there was a smoke detector right above me. And as I'm just getting into the paint job, all of a sudden, the fire department comes. How exciting is that? So we're not going to paint upstairs anymore. 
We're gonna just do it right here. <laughs> There's nothing worse than the fire department coming and messing up a perfectly good paint job. No offense to the fire department, of course, just doing their job. But needless to say, they were not pleased when they found out why they were here. So I'm just gonna keep on doing these coats, let it dry. And what I'll do is I'll, sh I'll shut the camera off here in a second and we'll come back when I've done a few more coats and you can see how it comes out. And uh, yeah, that'll be fun, right? <laughs> we'll see how it goes. See you in a little bit. Okay, now what we got here is the body and body parts after the first coat drying nicely. I'm going to leave those dry for a while before I apply the second and third coats. So here's that. And what I've done over here is created a little makeshift paint booth basically. And this is where I'm going to paint my uh, my grill here. I don't want any overspray to hit my body so I've got this cardboard box kind of helping that out that should do it because I don't want to have my paint strewn out everywhere. Um, you know, Samsung IP Solutions. I'm a telecommunications and network specialist so there you go. That's why I have a bunch of Samsung. And yeah, Here's my warehouse by the way. Look at the beautiful mess that it is. So, this is where I do my painting and working and get my paycheck, and it's fantastic. So, anyways, so back to the truck. Not that you're interested in my office, but yeah, this is gonna be my little paint shit, uh, paint booth here, and uh, I guess I'm gonna start spray painting this little sucker silver. I like to have everything kind of dry up all at the same time, so I don't have to sit here and wait and you know got the wife waiting at home, told her I'm gonna go paint a truck. You know, I've got the most understanding wife in the world, I'll tell ya. You know, she lets me go and do what I want, paint my little trucks, whatever. She's fantastic. I'll have to put her on one of my videos one day. She's absolutely beautiful. You should see her. Uh, she's way out of my league, it's fantastic. All right, so next time I pop on here, there should be some paint applied to this sucker. I probably will be doing my second coat to this, uh, these over here, and I'll be doing the dash in between. So. Let's, uh, let's get on with it then. Okay, with the dash, the grill, that looks nice, and all the rest of the body painted, that's uh, actually, f I think, four coats on the body. I'm not going to go with a clear coat, because, you know, we're dealing with a, if you're, you know, thinking about the year of this truck, a truck that's about 25 or more years old, so I don't want to make it look too shiny, and besides, I'm going to scratch the hell out of this thing, so it'll only look pretty for so long, but it looks good. Now, I have masked off the bed, you can see where it's going to be like a little lip right around here, and it's prepared for the bed liner. I'm going to put the bed liner on, and uh, give it that nice scale look. So you see the masking I did? It's ready for the bed liner and when I come back that will be applied. Okay, the bed liner is on. It's still drying so it'll be less shiny by the time it's done. But you can see it's on there. I'm not unhappy with the way that came out. Not the best lighting in here, I apologize for that. But, here it is. Here's something I thought you guys might find interesting. Um, I actually got this uh, idea from a toy grade RC that had lights on it. I took the body off to use for a drift car I made. Um, I actually dress the, uh, the wires for the LEDs in with using hot glue. That tends to work really good. Keeps the wires out of the way. Keeps them out of the line of vision. So, if you're ever looking for a good way to hide some wires, there you go. Okay, I'm back at home now. I uh, had some time to assemble the body and put the lights in and all that. I'll tell you what, putting this body together and putting the lights in and all that was harder than putting the truck together. No joke. Um, I would not want to have to do that again anytime soon. Um, but as you can see, it's all together. Got the, uh, the rear lights, the blinkers the front blinkers, front headlights, they're all complete. Um, haven't decided whether I'm going to put pinstriping or not. I actually bought some, but I don't know if I'm going to put it on. One thing I will say is this. I'm not really sure why, but you have these back body posts here, 
but the rest of the body actually screws to the chassis. So to remove the battery and things, you'd have to literally take this thing, you know, take four screws out. And that seems like it'd be a real pain. So what I did was I mocked up a body post, uh, attached it to the chassis, uh, a lot like a bruiser would, you know, with the one front body clip. And I'll tell you what, it's, it's on there, and now I can take it off just like any other body. I know it takes away from scale look, but at this point, I've been working on this body for so long, I don't even care. It's good enough, and it's nice and sturdy, so now you see it. Anyways, um, I appreciate you guys watching this video, the painting portion. Um, thanks for bearing with me. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. hope it was uh, something interesting, and hopefully the next video I put out will be me taking this thing out and actually driving it. So, thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.